Aloha, Ishmele Sachin Sinichbaum. And we're going to talk about fear a little bit because there are so many people struggling with a lot of the energies that are being activated right now. Um, safety mechanism, protection, uh, fears, fears um, about everything. <laughs> There's really no other way to put it. Fear, one thing to understand is that anything that occurs inside of you, that if it doesn't come from a place of pure love, purity, something that inspires you, something that makes you happy, something that's amazing and opens your heart, if it doesn't come from that awesome place, the peace, that magic, then it is of an old, using the words lower dimensional consciousness, which is a frequency bandwidth, okay? So when your head transmits the frequencies that are inside of your body for you to hear, if it is not expanding. If it causes you to contract and shut down, then it comes from a place of fear, judgment, lack. All of these the same thing, different versions, vibrationally. Um, now, the body has to have a cellular release which means that if fear presents inside your body, this is why a lot of people will go to trying to breathe, breathe through it. And, and if we're really human, we call it a panic attack, or um, we, we believe the emotion that surfaces when the cells go in to cellular memory release. When the physical body, if there's a lot suppressed and held inside, then it will fill the whole body inside with fear. And it'll come up and it'll be very overpowering and overwhelming when there's a lot of it. So one thing to understand is when you feel fear, that is your cells moving. In order to, the more density we have in the physical body, then when the cells try to move, then what they do is they bump against, and I, I use my explanations to create the visual so everybody can see how it kind of really, really is. When these activations occur daily, now, all day, if they're triggering fear within you or any other emotion that's got to be cleared, cleansed, purified, released, all of these words, whatever words you want to use, transcended, unified into brought back in to love again, all of the same versions of the reality for how we do this, transformed. <laughs> we can use any word you want to because you're gonna do a different thing each time. When there's a lot of physical density, as the physical body goes from carbon-based to crystalline, when we first start waking up, there's a lot of, lot of density, uh, technically. Um, the body's physically very dense, a lot of physical matter if you will. And when photonic light starts to move inside the body, it creates the effect of fear. If there's fear, that's got to be cleared. And when the photonic light, when your quantum cells start moving in your body, cells start moving in your body and they start bumping against your fears, the point is to trigger the fear so it can come up and go, so that, that you can release it. Um, and this is why when you breathe through it, um, you breathe and the cells will release um, where we are not conscious of it. Then we believe the fear and the body shuts down and we go into holding on to it, which is the opposite of what we want to do. We want to open up, breathe through it, let it out of the body. You need a cellular release. Your body's got to release it. Um, sometimes it will create tears. Sometimes it'll create anger. Sometimes it'll create different things. Be all of these vibrational frequencies have to leave the body um, in order to upgrade and, and unify at a higher uh, frequency of light. 
inside the physical body. Now, as this occurs, the less density we have, the more the energy moves. And then it just becomes a shaking effect. And then it's zoom, zoom, zoom. Your, your cells are just moving. And then they start doing other cool things, too. So um, when you feel movement in your body, though, energy, that's a good thing. When you feel tingling in the body, that's a good thing. You, the, your body is coming alive. There was a lot of dormant things. Everything was shut down. And these light frequencies stimulate and activate and um, do all other kind of things in order to bring us back online into the unified field, as the unified field, um, all back into love again so that we can purify and cleanse and upgrade our physical body with our light body. With our uh, and, and it evolves um, into the light body. Your your light merges with your physical body, and it'll start upgrading really fast when you do. And then your crystals will kick in, and that's just a whole another thing too. The reason I want to talk about fear is because if you want to be conscious of the fear, then you'll utilize different what we call mastery tools in order to clear the fear. Um, if you listen to the fear and you believe it, then you're unconscious. If you become conscious, present in the moment and, and catch yourself and go, wow, I've got fear. Then what you do is you listen to the thoughts. You have to actually hear them. You have to pay attention to what your mind is trying to tell you that you think you believe. And then you have to look at it and say, wow, I don't want to believe that anymore. That's not really true for me, or I'm going to do this instead. And that's where you have choice, presence, awareness, conscious um, action. You have choice and you get to choose uh, what you want to believe. As you become aware of what you think you believe and realize you don't believe it anymore, then you get to say, no, I want a different belief. And that's where your power comes back. Now, one thing that you can do that will really help is if you can stop yourself, catch yourself in a moment, be present, and separate the emotion from the thought. So say, okay, what am I feeling right now? Wow, I'm feeling fear. What am I, what am I telling myself? What story is going on inside my head? Well, I'm telling myself this. Well, I know. And the cool part is the more conscious you are, the more you understand you have a choice in the way you think, and then you just completely rewrite your whole uh, system, uh, belief system, your mentalities, all of these things. Um, for one who is not conscious, they'll sit in the fear. Fear can paralyze you, and it can stop you from doing anything at all. And if you're sitting in the fear, then you're not conscious, um, unless you're sitting in it to release it intentionally. And then there's times we do that too. We'll go into, okay, body, release the fear. And, and we move it out um, until there's no more fear. Um, there is no fear in the higher dimensional realms. You don't have it in your body anymore. Um, you might have once every year or two that something comes up. And then it's like, oh, there was some old fear there. Let's move that up and out. And it's very quick because you recognize it and you're conscious. And, and when you're fully conscious, cellular memory clearings are just that. You're just like, oh, there was something stuck in my cellular memory. Okay, you can come up and go. And you just keep going because as you embody your different dimensional aspects, you're able to manage um, many realities all at the same time. Uh, you can clear fear. You can have a conversation. You can write an article. You can... You can um, Work in the other dimensions and do everything all in the same place at the same time. It's very cool. But you can't do all of that if you're not present in the moment of this one right here and working with your current reality to clean that one up. So, one, pay attention to your body, everything you feel. Separate the thought. Be aware of it. And then you have to choose not to believe it, not to Go back into that story, not to give it your power. We take the power away from those belief systems. We don't believe them anymore. And it is through an entire gamut of navigational tools and things that we choose to use 
cool part is the more you do this, the less of all of those old things you have anymore. They don't exist. Um, everything is just energy. And so, and that's another thing I do is re, re change the word to fear energy. It's just the energy of fear. It's just trying to leave the body and everything does have to leave the body or be transmuted, um, or trans, um, formed into light. And so each time you'll do something differently, um, you can think of an opposite effect. Tell yourself the opposite thing. Um, you can do whatever you want to. That's the beauty of this. So for those of us that do this, we've got tons of tools. There's all kinds of things you can do um, to move things up and out, to completely change your reality and start to have a whole lot of fun um, because we're here to be very vibrant. We're here to be very bright. We're here to have a blast. We are here to be in service. We are here to be light. I might have said that one already. And we're here as love. And that's who we are. And we are energy in our purest form. And as your memories of who you are start coming back and you start embodying these different um, energies, existence completely changes. It's nothing like it used to be. And so one thing is to realize that in order to embody all of your divine essences, in order to embody all of your existences in this one here, in order to bring forth all of the memories and the knowledge and the wisdom, you have to be present in this moment and you have to move out everything, especially everything in your physical reality that is not in alignment to. Um, you have to choose. And there's one thing that's really important is there are a lot of things as humans we don't like to do. As higher self aspects, we know we have to do those things. So basically is to embrace the things you don't like to do and do them. Um, this doesn't allow for us to hold on to the old safe ways anymore. There's no reason for that. Um, it, this is a very easy reality now. The more unified you are inside, the more peaceful things are. The more you cut the chaos out, the more you focus your energy. And I'll tell you too, and it's been very apparent in paying attention, especially with uh, these gamma frequencies that scatter our particles and they scatter our consciousness, which is awesome because we and we're, and we're expanded in all these other dimensions. But they also... Um, scatter the particles of thought, which is a great thing, unless you're human. And then your head goes chaotic and you got thoughts all over the place and, and you have to gather yourself. You have to focus more um, because being really present, we're able to maintain a really clear focus and we're able to do a whole lot of things, accomplish a lot of things. But if there's anybody around that their brain is, is chaotic and scattered, then we pick up on that frequency bandwidth and it's an interference in our ability to function and think. Um, a lot of people will say telepathically, let's go with that word. Um, I don't use the old human words anymore because it's so much more than that, but technically you're so telepathic that everything in the whole block radius is in your field when you're that expanded. Um, and then sometimes, uh, I mean, you can hear inside all the houses on the street, you can hear the, you can hear, smell everything, um, especially when you're tuning to a higher frequency and your whole body is, and, and your field is expanding, then everything in your field will affect your field. And I know I talk about this a lot, so I'm not going to go all into that again, but all right, fear. The reason I did this is because so many people believe the fear when they feel the feeling. They believe the fear. They go into fear instead of becoming conscious and realizing I've got the feeling and the energy of fear. Or they have the thoughts going on. They get all caught up in their head. And instead of going, wow, I've got fearful thoughts. I'm scared of that. Oh, I'm judging myself or whatever words you want to use. Or they might have judgment of me. And, and all of these stories we tell ourselves. If when you're conscious you don't listen to those old lies. You don't listen to those old untruths. You don't listen to all of that lack of where you don't love and appreciate and honor and respect 
and share you. Um, if you listen to those stories, then you're not conscious. And so number one is to be fully conscious of everything that occurs. The reason I say this is because it's getting more and more apparent that it's harder for when we maintain full consciousness to be around somebody that's not conscious. Um, it, it's, it's, it really affects um, our ability to be able to function and produce and work and, and do all of the things we came here to do if there's anybody around that's not conscious. Um, it's such a polarity and, and such a there's no synchronization because we have to synchronize in order to be in the same field. And so when one person is really in their head, you cannot synchronize uh, the, and, and be in a unified field. And anything that is not unified at the, the higher frequencies of light, then when you're functioning from that place and somebody else isn't, then it's going to really affect um, what, you, what you're trying to accomplish by being really focused and present within yourself. And the reason I say this is because we've had some conversations lately with, um, we had a, a, a very beautiful and sweet uh, soul who's going to know when I say this, this is her. Um, talking about a lot of clutter and a lot of physical matter um, and cleaning and getting things out of the room. Um, physical matter will disrupt your consciousness. You're not able to expand. And if you've got a lot of stuff around there, then the physical matter holds a consciousness too. And if you've got a lot of physical matter, you've got all this stuff going on. Unless everything is, is of the highest state of consciousness and you have a lot of space. You cannot expand and you're going to pick up on all that clutter. I have to constantly clean my desk area where I work. Um, I scatter everything. I, I keep a lot of things around because I work on a gazillion projects and, and things all at one time. And then I'll have to stop and clean it all up, get it organized, start again, start fresh, clean, get everything out of the way. And so it's a continual process. And if I find that I can't concentrate, then one, the frequencies, activations that are going on at that time will lend to that. Um, but it, it's not a permanent thing. Um, if that's not what it is, if there's nothing else going on, then that, that might be what that is. But if, it, if, if you have chaotic energy around you, if you have a lot of things around you, if you have a lot of people around you, these energies require total presence. Otherwise, it's going to be very scattered and chaotic. Um, and it's becoming more so, more apparent, because there's no flow. Um, when you've got people, if you will, functioning in different vibrational frequencies, and if they're not synchronized up, um, if things around you are not operating at that frequency too, then, then everything is disruptive and there's no flow. So just pay attention. See what's going on with you. Listen to your head. Separate the thoughts out. Listen to the, the thoughts that are going on inside your head. Separate the feeling out. Work with them separately. And it'll be a whole lot easier. So I love you guys. And I'll do... I'm trying to do more videos um, because and put those out. So we'll see, because I might start putting some of these out in newsletters and stuff more. So anyway, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo.